Hey guys, what's going on? It's The Chinist. For this week, unfortunately, I will be out of country, so there's not going to be a new comic book day haul for you. So for uh, for this week instead, I have a back issue haul. This back issue haul came from three different sources. Uh, first was a LCS, second was Half Price Bookstore, and third was a small local con that occurred just a uh, few weeks back. So yeah, kicking it all off for my LCS dollar bin, we have Superpowers number two, and I was also able to pick up number three and number five. So this is a six part mini series and I'm gonna go try to hunt uh, the other remaining down. I think he had number one on the wall for $10. So I'm gonna take a look at that next time I uh, pop in there. So yeah, this was a pretty good find. So now this is from a half price bookstore. This one was tagged for $1.99, so $2 for Champions number two. I think the 9.4s were going for about $20. I would put this at like a fine grade in my opinion. Then I picked up the rest of the set, or a pretty good run, for these were $5 each. And again, these are all valued about $20 for 9.4s. And I put these about mid-grade in my opinion. So able to pick up number four, Number five, number six, number eight, and number ten. And I finished this one off at number thirteen. So, yeah, pretty good find. And man, you know, these were pretty good condition, in my opinion. So, yeah, great to find those. So next I found a JSA. This was only for a dollar. This was the prelude for Return of Hawkman. Found this. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. So this is New Avengers and the Transformers. I wasn't collecting when this one came out. So yeah, I was, probably, I was a little shocked when I saw this one. So I've read through this one. Okay. Found a crossover of the Savage Dragon with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This was like perfect condition. This was a one shot I found out. Found Tech Jacket, like mint condition, number one, number two. Found a perfect embossed Turok number one. And I got this one for $2, I think. Okay, next we move on to the uh, small local con that I went to a few weeks back. And I ran into a vendor that had a box for 75 cents each. So lo and behold, I was digging through some bloodshots, found a bloodshot number six, mid condition, 75 cents. And this was the first appearance of Ninjak. For 75 cents as well, and I found these were going for about $10 online. So these were like little one shots from the Houston Chronicle. I live in Houston. So this was a Spider-Man Incredible Hulk uh, Great Robbery. That uh, was a promo for Foley's and Houston Chronicle. So picked up two of them. Pretty cool. I've never seen these before. So yeah, $10 each uh, for 75 cents. And the last one I found for 75 cents was Green Lantern. And you know, these go for about, I think this was $12. Yeah. So yeah, pretty happy to find those for 75 cents. So then I got into a couple other vendors uh, uh, for dollar bins. So I had 18 number one already. So I found number two, very good condition. Found Avengers number 191. And I think this one goes for about $15 online in perfect condition for a dollar. Found a All-Star Squadron for three, I'm sorry, number three. Found a Wonder Woman uh, featuring New Teen Titans, it's pretty old for, uh, got it for a dollar, but uh, number 287. I thought this was gonna be a little bit better than, uh, than what it, uh, it ended up being. So this is just an okay read, but uh, Fat Ninja, number one. All right, and this is a pretty good find here. So again, this is still in the dollar bin, and uh, I found this Walt Disney Presents uh, Dalmatians 101, I'm sorry, 101 Dalmatians. This was going for $32 online, man, I was pretty shocked. 
So yeah, great find. I found one more uh, Walt Disney and uh, this one was going for $28 online. And I think these were from like 1970. So yeah, so again, pick these up for a dollar. So surprised. Picked up Uncanny X-Men, number 300. Uncanny X-Men, number 202. Picked up a Transformers, number 10, with Devastator. Picked up a Defenders of the Earth, number 1. Man, I remember watching this cartoon show back in the day. All right, now I get into a vendor who had um, some variants, and these are all tagged as two dollars, but uh, these were half price, so I actually got these for a dollar. So Curse Wards, another copy, mint condition. Got two cover Bs, and I never was able to find this one when it originally came out. So. Happy to find these. I thought it was pretty funny. But uh, yeah, so for a dollar each. Found four kids walk into a bank, the Hastings variant, for a dollar. So number two, just to cover A. Got a Future Quest variant, number one. Got a Young variant for Invincible Iron Man, number one, with Riri Williams. Got a Rebirth, Justice League, for a dollar. Venom, number one, Toy variant. So this one was tagged for six, but he still gave it to me for a dollar. So yeah, pretty cool. This was the uh, Steve Rogers Captain America. I think this is the uh, cover B. Same with this one, it should have been uh, 250 but it gave it to me for a dollar. So this was the Han Solo number one variant, the uh, Carbonite Chamber. And last up we had, I found a Secret Invasion for three dollars, uh, Secret Invasion number one. So I've been looking for this one just for uh, you know upcoming uh, speculation. So yeah, that's going to be it for this back issue haul. Again, no new comic book day for this week, but I will catch you guys next week. Thanks so much. If you like what you see here, please like and subscribe. Talk to you later.